hi guys welcome back to my channel as you see we have a new setup temporarily <laughs> this is like my studio for now um so i am doing a change on my channel um as you know i do cooking videos right now and some beauty videos i'm going to continue doing that but um mainly my channel is going to change according to my life update so recently in December, I obtained my certification in life coaching. My background is pretty much social work. I've been doing it for so long. Um, I graduated from college in the age of 21 and I went into the social service field right away. It, actually, my senior year in college, I was an intern and they hired me permanently. Uh, that's about 15 years. I just gave away my age um, but yeah so that is pretty much my background I wear a lot of hats I'm a mom I'm social I call I, my degrees in social work so I'm in that field I'm a cook I'm a wife I'm gonna be sharing videos that just talks about self-love a lot of uh, mindset videos tools that you can use um, I think that we had an age and we had a time right now that is really needed. We need a sense of community. And that's for me too, because I consider myself such an introvert that I just need um, a sense of community, even if it's online. We're in a new year and um, we're calling it the year of yes. And what I mean by that is that I want you to really think about how you want to change your life what goals do you have this year or you've had for the past couple of years and you just never um, acted on it think about those goals that really really resonate with you because those are the goals that you are passionate about maybe that's your calling that's your purpose and i want you to make this year the year of yes i'm going to talk about ways that you can do that here on my channel but the most important message i want to relate today is to always stay true to yourself and to stay true to your vision. Many people may not see the vision that you see for yourself, for your life, for your family. They may oppose of it. But if you see that vision, if you see that light at the end of the tunnel and you know that this goal is going to service other people, it's going to help other people because that's always our goal, right? We want to do something that not only benefits us but benefits the world in some way we want to make an impact in the world right so if you see that in the long run but nobody else sees it my friend i want you to keep going stay true to yourself even if you fail those are going to be your life lessons i talk about that a lot well i've been putting a lot of inspirational stuff on my instagram if you don't follow me already it's right here my instagram name and even if you fail, those are going to be the life lessons that are going to teach you what not to do and what to do. And you're just going to keep going. And you're going to keep that passion alive. You're going to keep that fire burning. And you're going to see in six months, in a year, in two years from now, you're going to be probably surpassed where you wanted to be. And you it's not easy to always do what you say you're going to do. But I always, if there's one thing that I do in my life, if I say I'm gonna do something, I try to execute it as fast as possible. Or I just try to never forget about it and still work on it. So last year, um, I was working a nine to five and I said, something just came to me that I said I want more. I was making an impact on the clients that I was serving and I knew that because they would tell me, all the time and I knew and I always known that I do have some type of gift and it's not a gift that is out of the world that you don't have it's just a gift of humbleness it's a gift of understanding people it's a gift of not seeing people below us it's a gift of helping others you know or being happy that the other person achieves goals and you when you when you see their success and you can really like smile and even cry for men you know a lot of my clients you know when they've been successful and stuff you know i may have shed a tear like i'm, I'm human you know in my job and 
that compassion, that humbleness, that realness to you, to them, to others, is a gift. And not a lot of people are like that. So many people in this world are bitter or it could be for so many reasons and it's not that they're bad people it's because they're healing also or they haven't healed yet they haven't found the right help i say that to say that i knew i had something and i knew i wanted to um excel in a more greater form so i said let me just go get my life coach certification my goal is to you know one day start my business of course i'm not gonna start tomorrow i mean that takes time but this is me planting the seeds to get where i want to be to touch others in the world you know so i i want to tell you the same thing whatever it is that you're dreaming of plant the seed whether it's little if you want to lose weight for example start eating right slowly start drinking more water Get that gym membership card start small even if you don't go every day you still made the initiative to go get that gym membership you still made the initiative to drink that extra bottle of water you know those are the little things that are going to lead you to the big successes later on so my overall message is just to keep going never lose your dream never lose your vision no matter what there's always going to be somebody that's going to say are you sure you want to do that or mm, I don't think that's going to work for you. No, no one knows what they, what's going to work for you. Only you know, only you know what's your light inside and only you know how you want to make an impact in this world. There's little things that you can do. You can get a planner, start planning your stuff, lay out your days, lay out how you want your life to look like, you know, and get a planner. It helps. Also journaling Talk about gratitude journaling a lot. It's so helpful and a, uh, such a mindful task to really be grateful for the present um, while you're getting to your future. So you want to be humble where you're at now so that God can provide you even more for the future. If you're not thankful and if you're not grateful just for even the little things, for having a roof over your head, for having food on the table, for having family around you, for... Um, just a moment of peace you know when I have like as a mom when my son goes to his grandma's house have this time this quiet time at home I say thank you Lord thank you just for me just to connect reconnect with myself to do things like this this is part of my dream to keep reaching out um, to the world and you know to eventually get to where I want to be wherever that may be you know, I teach my son, and this is a funny story, I just this just happened yesterday. Um, I'm teaching my son, and he's only three years old, I'm teaching my son the meaning of gratitude. And yesterday we went to the park, it was a nice, it was a, it was, though it was a little chilly, um, I said, you know, papi, let's go to the park. Let's get some air. And I'm doing it for myself too, I'm trying to, um, you know, every day get some air, take a walk to breathe to breathe in that natural air the point of the story is that we were on the swing and he's telling mo me mommy go push push me high i want to go to the sky and i'm pushing him and i'm pushing my son and when he goes up he looks at the sky just like this i kid you not it kind of gets me emotional right now <laughs> i didn't expect to cry in this video but he he's going up in the in the swing and he's like, he looks in the sky and he says, thank you, Jesus, for this swing. It makes me so happy. And when I heard that, I was like, what? I text my mom right away, like, look, this just happened. And she's like, oh my God. And that's just the past few weeks I've been telling him, just trying to introduce who God is, who Jesus is, and telling him that, you know, he has to thank God for his family, for his mommy and daddy. You know, just always do that. I thank God for the food that you eat every day. And he's learning that and he's instilling that. And the fact that my son is listening, I know that he's gonna do amazing things. These are the things that we wanna instill in our children today. So, and in ourselves, that's the whole point. So just be practice gratitude. It does wonders. It helps you be present. It eases your anxiety because it just puts you in the present state, aligns you 
mindfully where you need to be. This is gonna be my new series. It's gonna be called Let's Take Five, where the videos should not be no longer than five minutes. But this is my first video. I just wanted to think, I'll tell you what the changes are gonna be about. Excited, I'm excited for this new journey. This is another goal that I said I'm starting January and look at me. I'm in front of the camera. So if you want to do that YouTube video, if you want to do that YouTube channel, do it. Do it scared. I did. And look at it, guys. I do have a professional camera, but most of my videos are on my phone. I have an Android. And look, I'm doing it. I'm in front of my phone right now talking to you guys, trying to spread the word, trying to spread the love. So do it. Do it that thing that is burning in your heart and soul to do this year do it and i believe in you believe in yourself you can do this whatever that goal may be you can do it i can't wait to talk to you about more of these topics i have so many topics coming up that i'm very passionate about and i just can't wait to share this journey with you guys i'm excited it's the beginning of this new year I'm doing what I said I'm going to do and I want you to do what you want to do, what your heart desires, what your heart needs. I love you guys and as always keep vibing high and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.